You came to a new cafe with your friend Arya. There were already a good number of public on its first day. Look, I told you this cafe's opening is going to be great. And guess what? She gave you a mischievous smile. What, you're the owner of this cafe? Arya scoffed and you laughed. Oh, I forgot we are both broke. Or if you own the cafe, then I should have made you my sugar mommy instead of best friend. He said while still laughing, I respect your head, shut up. Actually, Kai also works here, he told me yesterday. She wiggled her dress with her fingers and her hair, smiling shyly. He blinked your eyes and gave her a disgusting look. Like bro, I was thinking we are finally going to be rich and here you are smiling like a creep for a senior in our college. He said while walking ahead and taking a chair to sit, I stomped her feet and rolled her eyes. Roll them more somewhere, you will find your brain and never go after those boys. He said being savage as always when it's come to boys. Seriously, because of this habit of you, half of your college boys think you are into girls, not boys. That's why you behave like this. He said picking the menu up to check what to order. Wine shrugged her shoulder, not answering. Well, this wine is always like this. She rejects the boys who ask her out and never reach one for herself because her only goal is to be rich and independent. And she has such bad trust issues with zero belief in love. Let's order this one. He also agreed with her and called a volunteer to take your order. Meanwhile, some rich pretty type boys enter the cafe. Everyone has their own dressing style but their clothing and other personalities were enough to catch the eyes of women around them. They took a table and sat there all seven. Some girls passing from there throw a card to them which have their number and address on it. What a shameless woman, he said ripping the card in pieces, while one of the guys smirked, hey, they just can't resist my handsomeness. He said making his elder friend scoff at him and smack the back of his head. This type of woman only prefer one night stand, not promises and relationships. His other friend said that and all of them agreed and desperate too. Like, I am from hamburger and Sprite. They all laughed at their own jokes when they heard a girl voice or only one of them diverted his attention to the voice. Hey, actually we want to order this. He pointed at the menu while the guy looked at you. His friends noticed. Jungkook, who are you looking at? He asked and Jungkook gestured to your side. Who was ordering while your best friend was just staring at the handsome guy because he was none other than Kai she was talking about. Looked like someone caught the attention of her Jungkookie. Jungkook shook his head. No, these type of girls are just trying to flirt and then all for you. Are you sure? 100%. He said like a pro. Then pay her bill and make her say a thank you to you. Chunk smug calling Kai while other guys just watched. Oh, you all here? I was from the same college as boys, but the difference was they all were from rich families and he was a scholarship holder student. But they respected him in their eyes. I held a huge respect. Hey, bro. Jehov stood up doing a bro hug with Kai and other two did the same. We heard about a new cafe so we came here to spend some time. Kai nodded ready to note the order. So what will you all like to have? They all one by one ordered and Jungkook stopped Kai saying. And also I'll pay the bill of that table. Kai looked behind and Jungkook was gesturing to both of you and your best friend. He shrugged his shoulders and nodded. In a few minutes, you call Kai to bring your bill. Oh, Wayan and Arya, actually someone already paid your bill. Kai looked at Arya confused and she shrugged off her shoulders. Who? I did. Hearing the manly voice, you turned to see a tall, good-looking guy who had a smirk plastered on his face. Chung stood just beside you and leaned a little. How can I let such a beautiful girl pay when there is a guy like me? He said being all proud, you felt disgusted. Yeah, you want to be rich and live a good life, but not this type of, like whenever and whoever will talk to you like a shit and impress you just because they paid your bill. Getting up from your seat, you look in his eyes. Who the hell gave you permission to pay our bill, mister? The name is Jungkook Beautiful. He said with a flirty smile, winking at you, and you don't give a shit about it. Kai, how much was our bill? He asked Kai who was also watching the drama going on. Eight, eight dollars. You open your purse and place the amount on the table. This is our bill. We don't need others to pay our bill. Let's go, Arya. You said and was about to walk past, but you felt your wrist being caught. I 
and with a pull you fall on a hard chest. Looking up, you watch the Jungkook cry. You trail his finger on your cheek. Anger doesn't suit a beautiful girl like you. He was about to lean in and kiss your cheek, but suddenly he felt a sharp sting pain on his cheek. Everyone got shocked as you removed his hand from your vest and backed off. His friends came to him standing beside him, while Arya stood beside you with a shocked face. Don't you dare to touch me without my permission and other girls too. Filthy rich brat, learn to stay in your limits. Not every girl is going to fall in your dirty trap. He sat pointing at him while everyone was watching what's going on and grabbing Arya's wrist you left the cafe. Jungkook, are you okay? He asked him while Jungkook's eyes never left the entrance he just exited. His expressions were not full of anger and not his veins were popping out due to any aggressiveness. He was thinking about something else, cautioning his behavior. Meanwhile, Kwan, are you okay? She placed her hand over his shoulder, asking calmly. You sighed and stopped looking down. I shouldn't have slapped him. You said feeling guilty about your behavior. That's right, but you also did what you thought was correct at that time. He shook your head in denial. No, Arya, not everyone is the same. Because of my childhood trauma, should I blame everyone for being like that person? It's wrong. You actually slapped him because you remember your childhood trauma when a person tried to you. Just like the way Chang touched you, that person was also trying to do the same with disgusting intentions. This is one of the other reasons you had to be near other male students. But then Arya got a call. Hello? Yes, I understand, Professor. What happened? Professor Chen called. He said, the new project we are going to work on, our seniors are going to be the project partners to guide us. You both are walking together on the street. So what? They are from the arts faculty. Okay then. She faced palm, shaking her head. They are the same group of students, one of whom you slept today. You stopped at your place with wooden eyes. What? Next day. Hey, you all heard? We are going to be a pair up with our juniors for the project. Wow, that will be fun. But the actual news is the girl who slept Jungkook yesterday is one of them. And they are gonna be paired up. Who said they are gonna to be paired up? I said I know the writer very well because I also used to write FFs. They all blinked their eyes looking at him. Standing in front of each other while the professor was guiding you all, you saw him standing there with his friends. He also looked at you and you both had a little eye contact. In a while, professor started to announce every pair name and their assignment. Arya and Kai with flower research assignment, you looked at Arya who was now jumping happily. Wayan with Jungkook on social personality survey assignment. Your eyes wooden and as Jungkook's too. Everyone started to go with their pair for their work while you stood there and him too. Wayan and Jungkook, why are you both standing and not doing your assignment? You both marched from there until you reached a different area. Playing with your fingers, you were looking down while he was walking beside you with his hand inside his pants pocket. I, I will bring the camera, he said with hesitation. I will bring a notepad. Let's meet here. You both ran in different directions and went to bring your things. Coming back to the same place you saw him already standing while leaning with the wall, he noticed your persons. As you were looking at him, you didn't notice there was a rock in your feet. He you stumbled on it but didn't fall down. Opening your eyes, you witnessed his eyes staring at yours so deep that it looked like he was reading your soul. You kept gripping your shoulders tightly, realizing he stood straight, looking on the other side. We should start. He nodded and looked around, finding a student to interview. There is a guy sitting there. I think he will be suitable for it. Okay, let's interview him. You both didn't talk much, only about assignments. Reaching the guy was sitting on the grass with a book in his hands. You both stood there. He looked at you with a cautioning face. Uh, actually, we wanted to interview you. About what? Social personality. For example, what's going on inside your mind while doing something which you like? He thought about it. Yeah, I like to read. Good, please elaborate how you feel when you read a book you like. Chung set the camera and you are ready to write. Actually, the book I'm reading right now I'm a little shy to explain. You and Chaku looked at each other and then that guy. But it's okay, I'll tell you. I'm ready. 99 ways to make love. You are in Chaku's eyes within. 
that guy was so shy and the girl was bored and they finally decided to do it together and then the girl started to teach him he was talking while you made a disgusting face jungkook too he looked at you with pleading eyes and he nodded okay okay thanks bro it's enough saying this you both left the confused guy how can we be so shameless okay you are reading it but why explain it openly so shameless even i was feeling embarrassed He looked at you and you too. You both started laughing because it was literally so funny. And again you both started to take interviews, but mostly were so bored or out of index like bro. They don't have any spicy content in their life. At the evening you both finalized that this is going to be the last interview. You both talk less but really enjoyed each other's company. You both saw a cute couple sitting together having talk and decided to interrupt them. Excuse me, we would like to have your interview for a social personality survey. Oh, like what? Any important thing that you like to do or love to have in your life? Oh, we understand. The look at each other with loving eyes and smile said the camera. You both got ready. Actually, that important thing is not anything other than her. He gestured to his girlfriend. Great. How did you both meet and fall in love? We didn't meet in good circumstances. Actually, we really didn't like each other at first, but eventually we fell in love. What was the reason? Like to fall in love? They laughed, making you both confused. For being in love, you don't need a choice or reason. It's a thing that just happens, or you will never know when destiny will make you close to each other. Suddenly, and you will start to feel heaven on earth even after difficulties. When you will see that person, everything will change into soft and beautiful. And when we first met, I accused him for a thing that he wasn't responsible for. But after that, I realized I was wrong, and destiny again made us meet. Eventually, we sort out things and fall in love. He smiled, looking at him. He looked at Jungkook, who was already looking at you. You both thanked the couple and left the place. While walking, you both together said. I wanted no fuss you say no no fuss you Okay let's sit there and talk keeping your things aside you both said together I wanted to apologize He looked at him with big eyes sparkling and nodded slowly There is no need for you to apologize it was my mistake I shouldn't have touched you like that He said and you can see sincerity in his eyes You looked at the front not having the courage to talk while looking in his eyes But in my eyes it wasn't your fault. I had a childhood trauma of someone harassing me by hitting me badly and then he choked with me. I remember that day and slap you thinking you are going to do the same. You start looking down. Jung felt so bad and said to we didn't think even once that his actions could make someone go through a terrible past trauma. Who really wants to punch that person who captured your mind with bad thoughts? Slowly he sat closer to you and gulping a heavy lump he grabbed your hand softly if i knew before something like this i would have never touched you i promise and from now on i promise i will not touch any other girl without their permission and if you like we can be friends i'll make you believe that not everyone is going to be like that disgusting person and you will be out of these bad thoughts too he looked at him and thought why suddenly he will say this but you really like the way he thought Can't everyone be like this? He smiled while moving your hand to his for a handshake. Friends don't shake hands. He hugs you, taking you off guard, but suddenly back off. Oh, sorry, I was just excited. You giggled. No, it's okay. You both stood up, going back to your home while talking. I think the perfume addict one was hella funny. We should include it. What about the first one in the morning? No, that was disgusting as shit. He laughed at your face. I didn't know this type of person also exist. Some days passed and the assignment submitting date came up. You both became really close with the time. Chung introduced you to his friends and they were hella shocked and never expected the moon to be friend with Sun. Lol. And you also introduced Arya to them, but guess what? The girl proposed to Kai and they are dating. At last your friend also ship you and Jungkook, but you both always deny it or just can't accept the truth. Sitting together in class you were arranging your assignment. Don't you think you should stop drinking the banana milk? and help me no i'm busy with love of my life he said and he shook your head but i can't help you vyan a random guy from your class 
Badge from now here came up and said, looked at Jungkook who was side eyeing you. Here, sit here. He said straight shocked. Yeah, why you gave him permission when I'm here? You yourself denied. He said with a shoulder shrug. He was getting jealous of a guy helping you and not him. He snatched the file from that guy hand. Hey, let me do and then I'll ask her out too, bro. Ask her out my foot. Get out. Hyung said that guy got scared and left the place. He looked at him with are you a foolish look? Yes, I'm fool. Say it loud, not in your mind. He said sulking while you scoffed. I was thinking of asking a guy out, Miles. Now his ears become sharp and action too. Who, why, where, how dare he? At the park today, you said he backed off thinking about something while leaning his head on your shoulder, sipping his shake. In the evening, you came to park and sat there. Suddenly, you felt someone behind you. And as you turned, he cast, What the? Don't curse, you unholy kid. You closed your mouth. Where's that guy? He asked while wearing boxing gloves in his hands. But why are you wearing these gloves? He looked at them and you rolled his eyes. You controlled your eyes. I was doing a boxing practice nearby. Oh, okay. Where's that guy? He's still not here. Like he's making you wait. And that means you he don't like you. He grabbed your wrist taking you away. Jungkook, leave my hand. He will come here soon. How can he? If he had liked you, he would have been here before you were excitedly. Like what? Like me. When you ask me to go out, I will be excited and first. He closed his mouth quickly, realizing what he just said. So you like me. You asked, but he didn't say anything. You sighed and decided to leave, but gripping your vest back, he cupped your neck connecting his lip with yours. He was shocked at first but slowly gave in. Circling your arms around his neck, he broke the kiss. Yes, I do. I do love you so much. You giggled at his confession and I don't like when any other guy tries to be near you and have your attention. Only I can have that, you understand? You smile looking at him. And what if I reject you? He gulped getting scared. Then I will do my best to make you fall in love with me and never leave your side once. You chuckle that he will never give up on a thing he wants from the depth of his heart. And that's what you want, a person who will support you and never give up on you in every condition. Then make me yours for forever cause I will love to be loved by you. You became happy and started to peck your face. Jungkook stop, it tickles. Meanwhile, your friends were looking at you both from other side. Now each of us has to give $10,000 to Yongi. He won the bet. I told you in the end, author is going to make them together. I thought Jungkook only loved banana milk. Because I love hamburgers and fries. Are you guys not feeling single? But then, hey guys, look, my reflection in pound looks so handsome. I fall in love again with myself. Set, 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 set